okay hi right uh, so so can you briefly tell me about yourself good morning sir uh, first of all thank you to give me this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself um, my name is ketra swara i am from odisha um, first of all i did my graduation in bsc chemistry honors i have knowledge on python and basic rules of html css uh, my short term goal is to getting a job in it sector and my long term goal is uh, to experience gain its experience and uh, improve my knowledge in programming and on the time better to better than to previous one okay so you have mentioned here that uh, you have uh, Uh, like you know command and python and html css okay yes. so since how long time you are uh, learning python uh, for 3 months uh, 3 months ago you yes. started yes. so can you tell me approximately how many programs you have written uh, approximately i have written in uh, 120 programs 120 above. above you have written so can you tell me what are the uh, different topics that you have familiar with in python fundamentals with uh, loop, loops conditionals uh, functions functions also uh, some functions also okay, file file handling no sir i am okay it seems good right okay so uh, when i say python so just speak something about python whatever you know <coughs> python is a nothing but it is a high level programming language Which is interactive and interpreted, object oriented. Who is a platform independent language? Mm -hmm. That's what you Python. Mm -hmm. And it is a feature of Python. It, it is a very used to easy and easy to readable and less syntax and less keywords. Uh, second feature is uh, flexible because it is a platform independent. So it is a flexible. Mm -hmm. It is also transferable. Mm -hmm. This code also can transfer in one device to another device easily. Mm -hmm. Third one is uh, it is also interpreter. I'll uh, tell that previous one. It is interpreter because in this code execute line by line. Okay. In the high level, it is uh, also high level programming because of user friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is uh, open source mm -hmm. because of free of cost. Everyone can access Python. Uh, documents in everywhere. Okay, that is fine. So, are you aware of Python operators? Yes, sir. Can I you tell me what are the different types of operators in Python? Yes. Uh, in Python, seven there uh, seven types of operators. That is our uh, first one is uh, <coughs> assignment of arithmetic operators. Second one is assignment operators. Third one is uh, logical operators. Uh, fourth one is uh, relational operator. Um, members operator. Identity operator. Bit as operator. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what are various logical operators in Python? <coughs> sir, logical operators in three types. That is, and, mm. or, and not. And or mm. not. And and mm. or mm. not. Not. So, these are the three logical operators. Yes, sir. So, can you show me uh, the syntax of and? How we use and? Yes. Sir. Can you give an example for that? Yes, sir. Please take the marker and. Uh, No problem. X is less than five. Ah, uh, X is greater than ten. Hmm. So explain that how it works. Now you took X equal to five. Yes. Ah, uh, now tell me. Uh, explain how that and uh, will be used there. First of all, x is a variable taken at five. Okay. And then after that, uh, if condition. Mm -hmm. When if condition first is a statement, mm -hmm. and second statement is true, mm -hmm. then the statement is executed in print. Statement. In this case, yes. Uh, first condition, second. There are two conditions we are telling. Yes, sir. So which condition is true? Which condition is false? X less than five. Mm -hmm. And x greater than ten. Okay. In case x is equal to five, huh. then x it will be x less than five. Huh. It is a true. Is it true? 
it is a false. It is false. What about second condition? It is a true. That is true. X should be greater than ten. So five is you know, five. You got taken, na? Five is greater than ten. No, sir. Uh, it so it is also false. False. Now what is the total output? Uh, false. False. Right. The If I make x equal to fifty. Fifty. Uh, the second condition is a true. Mm -hmm. First condition is false. Mm -hmm. Then it output is, is false. False. Okay, right. Uh, that is fine. Okay. So just uh, you write a program. So uh, like a number is given. You assume that we need to uh, enter any number. Yes. Okay. So we have to ask the user to enter a number. Mm -hmm. Now your program has to tell me, like you know, whether that number is even number or odd number. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. So just write that code. Yes, sir. User input, sir. Yes. You take the user input. Huh? Can you explain me that code? So in <coughs> first line, you are uh, you give the line number also. Line number also you give it. You write ah uh, here line number one. Ah uh, next line number two. Ah uh, line number three. Line number four. Ah uh, good, nice. Ah uh. first line number one. Ah uh. user input. Take yes. any number. Yes. Then second uh, go to line number two. Ah uh. uh, verify the condition. If condition. Mm -hmm. If it is satisfied. So what is that condition? You are writing if a percentile two. Two. So what does that mean? A percentile two means. Means uh, give the reminder. Huh. It gives a reminder. Equal yes. to zero. Achha. Then it ah. is a even number. Okay. Huh. Ah. Otherwise. Otherwise it is odd number. It is an odd number. Yes. All right. So you go to line number one. Yes. There you have written int right. A equal yes. to int of something. Yes. So why you have written that int? Because. Uh, we convert the any number to int in type integer. integer yes okay what are the data that you are entering it converts into integer integer yes. can you tell me what are the data types in python um, sir so 10 data types tell me what are they mm. memory data type mm -hmm. string data type mm -hmm. uh, list data type okay tuple data type dictionary data type uh, set data type uh, for example set data type byte data type byte array data type boolean data type okay very good so like uh, Out of all the data types, which one you have used most? Uh, string data type. String you have used most. Okay. String also has hmm. uh, a memory data type. What is the common thing between string, list, and tuple? It is a sequential data type. All are sequential data yes. types. Are you sure about it? Yes, sir. Okay, very good, nice. So now uh, you rub that. You rub that. So you take any string, yes. okay? So write a program to reverse. I want to reverse the string. Reverse the string. Ah yes. yes. Whatever that Use string, user input only you take. Okay. Right. Just you want reverse. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that will reverse the string. Yes. Sir. So what do you mean by give the line number once again? Line number one, line number two, line number three. Now what does indicates? A of colon colon minus one you have given now. So what that indicates? Can you explain me what exactly yes, it does? Yeah. It indicates slicing of the strings. Mm -hmm. So what that minus one indicates? Reverse order of uh, the slicing in the strings. Okay. Is it possible? Uh, can you write the same program using for loop? Yes, sir. Why can't you write it below? You write that. Yeah. Okay. Make a line. Make a horizontal line. Yeah. Uh, now you write it. The same program. Ask the user input. You write it uh, using a for loop.
I want in reverse order, okay? Yes. Yeah. So take index now. Instead of taking directly, take index. So you write first in the line number two. You write uh, b equal to length of a. Uh, now you try length of a. Uh, now uh, i in a for i in range you use now. Uh, range of uh, where you want to start. Uh, you want to want to b. You want in reverse order now. So where you want to start? B. Hmm. B to 1. Mm. Yes. yes. Uh, in reverse order. So what is the step? Minus 1 you have to do now. Mm. B comma 1 comma minus 1 you write. Okay. Now what you have to print? Print I. Print? I. I or A of I? A of I. A of I. Mm. That's it. Okay. Mm. Uh, B is length or length minus 1? B is B should I should I should I take length of A or length of A minus one, which is correct. Whether should I take B equal to line number two, hmm? length of A should I take or length of A minus one should I take? Length of minus uh, sir, length means length of minus means A minus one. Hmm. Uh, in case of uh, five. No no no. You tell me just whether I should take length or length of minus one. The length of A. Length of A. Yes, okay, sir. that's fine. Okay, so is it possible to write the same code with while loop? Yes, sir. Can can you can you write? Uh, means not now. So yes. Is sir. it possible now? Yes, sir. What is the difference between for loop and while loop? In for loop, first of all, for loop, mm, mm, we know that number of exact iterations. Mm -hmm. But in while loop, we don't know how many number of exact iterations. Mm. Second thing in while loop, mm. it it will be initialize the variable mm. first of all, mm -hmm. and. Uh, ट प्रोग्राम so for example uh, you have a uh, inbuilt functions are there yes. and you have another option is like not using the inbuilt functions so which method you prefer whether you prefer to write a program using inbuilt functions or without using inbuilt functions so using inbuilt functions why you prefer using because, inbuilt functions because it is a predefined function so take a easy like like example find factorial of a number then you can use the fact function mm -hmm. easily one line code you can easily find the factor of number but in case of uh, uh -huh. user defined or uh, without inbuilt function you take a three or four lines so you want to go with uh, user defined functions only inbuilt functions in only yes. yeah so what are the drawbacks of using inbuilt functions can you say yes, I don't. have you ever thought of is there any drawback you think because you could have used lot of functions no? yes. like uh, listing functions or list functions yes, okay the no issue good right come and sit okay so as you told uh, you worked more on strings okay yes. so can you tell me any three inbuilt functions in strings first of all sir string first of all one inbuilt function first length function okay we can find out the length of the string mm -hmm. second one is uh, count function mm -hmm. We can use the how many numbers, uh, how many elements are there in mm -hmm. by using the count function. Mm -hmm. Third one is uh, lower upper upper function and lower function. Mm -hmm. Both are. Mm -hmm. What upper does? Upper is in case of uh, string element. In uh, lower case, it convert upper case, and uh, reverse order in lower case. Okay. So, thank you. That's good, Vera. Okay. So we'll get back to you. Thank you.